From saving the world to your daily grind, here's what I read this week. Nightwing The New Order by Kyle Higgins, art by Trevor MacArthur, colors by Dean White, and letters by Clayton Cowles. This really interesting six-issue arc, uh, by now it's available by Trade Paperback as well, uh, written, of course, by the wonderful Kyle Higgins, who has written so many different comics from almost every single publishing company. I do so believe he's actually working on a movie next. He's also written full-on fiction books that you can find at your local bookstore. This story is at the end of his life, or at the end of his story within the superhero world. So the story of New Order starts with a large battle between the Justice League and a large variety of their villains, basically tearing up a city, destruction everywhere, death of civilians, but also heroes and villains. And finally, Nightwing, one of the few humans in the whole pack, finally has enough. He grabs a device created by one of the villains and activates it. And what it effectively does is steal all the powers of every hero, disabling all of them, ending the fight almost immediately. Everyone just returns to being a normal human, including the likes of Superman. From there, after a period of time, you're not ever really told, Nightwing starts a police force called the New Order in which they track down and either imprison, execute, or permanently put on stasis those who have power still or those who are born with powers or develop them. One of the worst parts about this story, and when I, may, when I say worse, I don't mean bad writing, I do mean horrifying for the characters, of course, is that Nightwing's love of his life, Starfire, is super powered and she loses it. She loses all of her powers and she runs away. And at that time, this taking place a number of years after sort of current continuity, they're already married, they have a family starting, and this just fractures all of that. So their whole world, every hero, every villain, their world is thrown right upside down, and they have to deal with it. But as Nightwing, from a philosophical standpoint, believed most in what he did, he's the one you see most confident in what he's currently doing. The best part is by the end of issue one, so it's not really a spoiler as there are full six issues, by the end of issue one, we do learn that his son actually has emergent powers. And now his philosophy is turned on its head because not only now is it other people and I'm making, and I being Nightwing, make the world a better place, it becomes what do I do now that it's my personal life? When I've made other people have to put their fathers or their mothers or their boyfriends and girlfriends or their children in stasis for an unknown amount of time until they can control the power or turn it off. Now his own son is in that situation and very quickly everything that he's built turns on him. And throughout the rest of the story until the final conclusion, just about every character that you know and love, whether it's Starfire herself, Lex Luthor, Superman, uh, a variety of other new heroes, including uh, Batwoman, they find their way in this world, but in such a way that you do not recognize them. Yes, you see them and go, oh, that's this character, but it's totally opposite to the way they were, even for those in, say, the Bat family, like Batwoman herself, where before she was very much uh, in favor of superheroes, she becomes something entirely different. And dependent on your standpoint in what's gone on in this world, she's the bad guy, or she could be. But then again, so is Nightwing. The writing in this is absolutely awesome. Uh, the specific characters, especially Nightwing, what he's going through, and his mentality are far different. And seeing him as a father as opposed to just Dick Grayson, the Boy Wonder, or Nightwing, because he is a father, the take he has on superpowers, the take he has on heroes, and what that means changes a lot. And given his experience in that lifestyle, especially in his younger years, he takes it to heart when people say, well, maybe superpowers aren't so bad, or maybe we should undo what we've done. Because he also has the weight of their deaths and all of the chaos that powers bring. So when we get the confrontations between different ideas about how the world should be in this six-issue series, 
they're really well thought out and that's a, a big kudos to Kyle Higgins because he's thought through the arguments and presented them beautifully in not just a very textbook pros and cons kind of measured way but in an active emotional and understandable way and there is no good answer or wrong answer it's just what works in the situation and also i would absolutely again love to congratulate the artist on the book trevor MacArthur, who has beautifully drawn this world in great detail uh, and of course the colors by dean white um who just utilizes dark colors shading to really show us how gritty the world looks without bright brilliant heroes in it anymore so overall absolutely please do pick this one up it is a great read it's not in continuity but as per Nightwing's story I think it's just about the perfect end for that character and I truly think that the new order could go down as Batman's The Dark Knight Returns. So please do rush over to your local comic book store. They likely won't have issues available anymore. However, you will be able to get a trade paperback of this book. If they don't have it for whatever reason, check out your local library as they do tend to stock graphic novels. Uh, thank you, Public Library Systems. Uh, and of course, after that, check out your local bookstores, perhaps a Barnes & Noble, Chapters, Indigo, uh, and then from there, if you must, you can go elsewhere, but try to keep it local. So ladies and gentlemen, absolutely, please do go run out, grab Nightwing The New Order, and enjoy the hell out of it, and have a great rest of your day.